And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, most of us, the 2020 Golden Apple Awards. The Golden Apple is the highest award conferred upon a staff member within West Aurora School District 129. Now this year there were a record number of nominees for the award, resulting in a total of eight award winners. Our 2020 Golden Apple Award recipients are exceptionally skillful and dedicated individuals, having the respect and admiration of students, parents, and coworkers alike. However, their most important quality is their superior ability to inspire and support all of our learners and our learning environment. Our first 2020 Golden Apple recipient is Ms. Tricia Ashman. She serves as a principal office professional at Furl Elementary School. Ms. Ashman, if you would join us on stage, please. And as she's making her way, I'll read some, some thoughts about Ms. Ashman. Throughout her career in West Aurora, Mrs. Ashman has supported more than just building administrators. She has helped countless students, parents, and staff members along the way. While her ability to multitask and assist with the day-to-day -day operations of running a school are unparalleled, it is her caring and compassion that truly sets her apart. Her thoughtful nature is evidenced in knowing every student's name and the manner in which she interacts with all firm stakeholders. So let's hear what some of your colleagues have to say. Trisha, I nominated you for the Golden Apple Award because you are amazing. And guess what? Congratulations, you were selected. You are awesome. You take care of Fern like it's your family. Hi Trisha, congratulations on your award. Um, you impact so many kids here at Fern, such a dedicated secretary. Um, knowing all the kids' names as they walk in, you're greeting them first thing in the morning. You support us as teachers, making copies and things we need. Um, you are going to be totally missed next year when you're retirement. Um, so congratulations on this board and thank you for all that you do. Mrs. Ashman, she's really caring. She cares for students who are hurt and she lets people in through the door um, when they need to go to the nurse. She's also caring by taking the time out of her day to do the announcements. Uh, Mrs. Ashman holds the door open for us even when it's super cold outside and she makes us smile with like some headbands and everything. Mrs. Ashman holds the door open when it's when we ha when we're hurt or something. So that's really kind. Mr. Russell thinks he might be the boss, but we all know who the real boss is. We're gonna miss you when you retire, but we're so proud of you, Trisha. Congratulations. Congrats, Trisha. We love you. Woo! Thank you, Mrs. Ashman, for all that you do to support the, and serve the firm community. The next Golden Apple is presented to Mrs. Sue Fowler, College and Career Readiness Coordinator at West Aurora High School. <laughs> Mrs. Fowler is a valuable asset to West Aurora High School and their greater community. In the span of only a couple of years in her current role, she has changed the culture at West High, which today focuses on supporting every student in developing a post-secondary goal. Mrs. Fowler developed a college and career curriculum that is implemented starting in eighth grade through his student's senior year. We understand that Mrs. Fowler is a very busy lady today as she has worked to orchestrate a college and career fair that is taking place as we speak. She should be here somewhere. This may be somebody she got lost or something. That fair has over 190 college admission representatives and business partners participating. Mrs. Fowler, are you here? <laughs> Did she not get the memo? We're, we're, oh, we're texting her, so, so we'll come back and get her. Okay. This is where we pivot and I won't sing or dance. For your sakes. The third golden apple goes to kindergarten teacher at Freeman Elementary School, Missy Hoke. Missy Hoke, please join us on stage. Yeah. 
Mrs. Hogue demonstrates that she is an exceptional educator and goes above and beyond for her students and families. She is a role model for others in the field. She is purposeful with every direction. She's empathetic and compassionate. <laughs> Mrs. Hoke is a highly dedicated professional who knows how to motivate and support her students to strive for excellence. She sets high expectations for her students and holds them to it. <laughs> Taking over the show. In both theory and in practice, she is a dynamic, compassionate individual who possesses the gift of being able to make learning fun for all. We have to have the perfunctory hug. So let's hear what some of your colleagues have to say. We can see what the, what the video talks. Hi, Mrs. Hoke. I just wanted to say thank you for helping all of your students experience the joy of learning. Um, all of our students are so lucky to have you. You help them feel safe at school and you push them academically. And as a district, we are really grateful that you are one of our teachers. And so I am very happy that you've won the Golden Apple Award. You are very deserving of it. Missy, there is no one more deserving of this Golden Apple Award than you. And here are the top 10 reasons why. Number one, you're a problem solver. You always come up with great ideas on solving problems, no matter how big or small. Number two, you always give students what they need. You dedicate your life to wanting what is best for each individual child. You handcraft your lessons to give them what they need. Number three, you are the consummate cheerleader, always lifting us up and telling us exactly what we need to hear when we need to hear it. Number four, you're firm but fair. You teach with an iron fist and a kind heart. You give your students the boundaries that they crave. Number five, you are nurturing. You, you flow so naturally throughout your day with the love and compassion for those around you. You make people feel special. Number six, you always seek best practice. You are always looking for what's current and how to help your students and putting it into practice in your classroom. Number seven, you're so observant. You notice all the little things and you let people know that you see them. Number eight, you are reflective. You analyze your day and you strive to make the next day even better. Number nine, you are super organized. Thank you for always finding what I can't find in the moment. You can whip up a behavior plan or a choice board or a picture schedule for those little ones who need it in a heartbeat. And number 10, you, you are, are the ultimate team player. Missy Hoke, you are so deserving of this recognition. We love you. Thank you, Mrs. Hoke, for your passion and dedication to our students. Thank you so much. She works with little kids. <laughs> All right, Todd, if you can uh, reset with me, if you would, please. I'm just going to go back in. And now that uh, we told you why she's so busy, and so she tore herself away from the college and career fair, and so we want to reintroduce the next Golden Apple to Mrs. Sue Fowler. Sue, we said lots of nice things about you while you were gone, but <laughs> just so that you know. But we also have some of your colleagues that would like to share some thoughts about you. If we could roll that, please. Hi, Sue. Congratulations. I nominated you for the Golden Apple Award for just a multitude of reasons. You have such a true heart for kids and have done so much to help West High and help the students here. So I value our friendship over the years of 28 years and um, just know that it, this is just an awesome award for you. So I'm so proud of you. You are the embodiment of excellence, not only in education, but in life. You make it a pleasure 
to come to West Aurora every day working with people, dedicated professionals like yourself. So congratulations from me and from all the counselors. You are so deserving of this award and the students here at West High and the West High community are so blessed to have you. It's been such a pleasure to work with you for the past five years. Um, you've built an amazing program here, brought so many awesome opportunities to our school to help our, our students. Um, really excited to see all that you'll continue to bring. So really glad um, that you're finally being recognized for all you do. You're awesome. <laughs> Sue, you hate this. You hate being recognized. You hate being singled out. All of it. I'm going to give an awkward silence right now looking at you through this camera because you hate it, <laughs> but you deserve it. You really deserve it because you do more than I can even imagine doing myself. And you do so much behind the scenes, yet students are impacted by your life, not just as an employee here, but your life as a person. So you well deserve more than just a golden apple. You deserve many, many apples. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sue! The next Golden Apple recipient, a paraprofessional at West Aurora High School, Ms. Julie Larson. Please join us on stage. Mrs. Larson has a genuine compassion for the special education students that she serves. She takes the time to get to know each student and his or her individual needs. Students overwhelmingly respond well to her supportive approach and are appreciative of the assistance she provides. Mrs. Larson keeps a focus on students developing independent skills and balances the support that she offers with that goal in mind. Mrs. Larson is involved in the greater West Aurora High School community by serving as sponsor of the Pause Club, which is for students interested in the care of animals. The commitment to this passion she possesses is evidence. She didn't know where all these people came from. <laughs> Congratulations, Julie. Let's share some thoughts from some of your colleagues, if you would. Hi, Julie. I nominated you for the Golden Apple Award. Your unwavering dedication to the students proves that you are so deserving of this award. Hi, Ms. Larson. It's me, Julie. Thank you, you encouraged me to um, do great in school every day. Hi Julie, I nominated you because of all of your dedication to our students, um, and you inspire me on a daily basis to be a better teacher. Julie, congratulations on winning the Golden Apple Award. You are such a deserving recipient of that honor. When I see you interacting with the students, the depth of your caring truly becomes evident. You are so good at making them feel important and valued. The students of our district are really lucky to have you as an educator, and I am very grateful to have you as my friend. And we're so lucky to have you as a part of the special education department at the high school. Thank you for all you do, and congratulations on this honor and being recognized as a Golden Apple winner. Thank you for everything that you do for us and for our community, and I'm lucky to not only call you a coworker, but you're my friend. Congratulations, congratulations Julie. Thank you, Mrs. Larson, for your support of the students and School District 129. Our next Golden Apple goes to fifth grade teacher at Hall Elementary, Mr. Patrick Littlejohn. Mr. Littlejohn's excellence stems from his sense of possibility and optimism. In his classroom, students are genuinely part of a community of learners 
for high expectations and high regard of the norm. As a teacher, he encourages students to see themselves as more capable today than they saw themselves yesterday. As a club leader and coach, he helps create experiences for students that allow them to feel efficacious, thanks Mr. Fitzenreiter, in the shaping of their future lives and future selves. In his work with colleagues, he consistently helps others feel as if they are up to the difficult task of educating our community students. As a father and a man of faith, he continues his work with his family and the families in our community. Let's listen to what your colleagues have to say. Mr. Little John, I nominated you. I think you, you are such an amazing teacher. Thank you for making such a big difference here in School District 129, and congratulations on receiving the Golden Apple Award. Hey, Patrick, congratulations on your award. Couldn't have happened to you more deserving time. Um, it's been a long time coming, I'm sure, and all that you do, and just a leader, and you've touched so many kids' lives. Hi, Mr. Little Hi, John. Mr. Little John. The Barn Sisters Hi. here. Congratulations on the Golden Apple Award. Woo -woo. You we totally love deserve you so this. much. You do deserve every part of it. Like we mentioned in the letter, you're such an inspiring, marvelous, amazing teacher. Go, Mr. Little John. Woo. Congratulations. Hi, Patrick. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you. I've had the wonderful opportunity to work with you for the last 18 years. And during that time, I've seen you build relationships and connect with each and every one of your students. Just know that we at Hall are so very, very proud of you. I can't think of anybody more deserving. Congratulations. Hey Patrick, um, I can't think of anyone more deserving of this honor. Your dedication to our students and our community is unparalleled. We are so blessed to have you as part of our Hall family. And I'm not only blessed to work with you and call you a coworker, but also a friend. Congratulations. Hey Patrick, so proud of you. I'm so glad that you are getting this award. You really deserve it. We love working with you and we love how much you do for our kids. Congratulations, Patrick. It's been my honor these last two years to get to see the impact you've had on students, staff, and our community. When I reflect on it, it makes me think of the teacher that I always wanted to be when I was in the classroom. I'm grateful that you're getting the recognition that you so rightly deserve. Patrick, I'm very proud to not only call you a teammate, but also a very good friend. It's a pleasure working with you. I'm proud of you. You deserve this. And you're, it's an honor to be a part of your team. Hey, Patrick. In the many, many years that we've worked together, I have watched you always do your best to make sure that every student and every family gets everything that they need. And I can't think of anyone who deserves this honor more. I'm so proud of you and congratulations. Patricio, your love for the Hall families is immeasurable. You do so much for the students. You're always there to support staff. You're always there to give a hug when it's needed. Even though you leave toner all over the copy machine and have empty packs of paper in my room, I can't think of any more, anyone else that deserves this award more than you. Congratulations. We're proud of you. We love you. We got you. Thank you, Mr. Little John, for your excellence in the classroom and beyond. No one should have to use the word efficacious before 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Good Lord. More coffee. Our next recipient is an English teacher at West Rural High School, Mr. Greg Partika. Mr. Partika makes an impact while teaching and coaching. Mr. Partika has always been a student-centered teacher, one who challenges students to expand their thinking through dialogue and discussion. He has influenced hundreds of students as a longtime coach, and one could see his former players come back and talk with him on the sidelines during any given Friday night football game. The most important thing that he has to share that makes Mr. Mar Mr. Partika such a great role model is that he is a man of very high character. He is honest, hardworking, committed, and reflective. <laughs> Anything he undertakes is approached with an eye towards perfection. He's willing to do whatever it takes to succeed. Let's listen to what your colleagues have to share with you. Greg, 
We nominated you for a Golden Apple Award because you absolutely deserve it. You set the model for what good teaching should be in relationships with kids. We're gonna definitely miss you. You have definitely been a great part of this English department, a great peer, and a great friend. Congratulations. Hey Par, congratulations on your golden apple. Um, I had you as a teacher ages ago and now we're colleagues and I'm super thankful to work alongside you. And thank you for being one of the teachers who inspired me to do what I do today. You're amazing and uh, congratulations again. Greg, it's been an honor and a pleasure to serve with you, District 129. Your wit has amused and informed us all. Congratulations, Par. Everyone knows you can't spell Partiga without party, and it's not going to be a party without you. Absolutely, Par. You taught me all about TY, and I don't know how I'm going to do it without you. Congratulations. Hey, Par. Congratulations on the Golden Orange Award. Brenda must be so proud. I am too. I'm really going to miss you. Congrats, Par, on your award. And thank you so much. Because of you, Partigo, we found husbands. Congratulations, Par. We're sure going to miss you. I have a signed copy of Code Talker for you in the office. Par, you're an amazing teacher and coworker. You make people's days better, which is awesome, and you really deserve this. Congratulations. Congratulations, Par! See you on the dot! Thank you, Mr. Bartika, for the legacy that you leave at West Rural High School in the, on the field and in our classroom. Our seventh 2020 Golden Apple Award is awarded to Director of Operations for West Aurora, Mr. Jeff Schiller. There are very few who can say that they have given their entire career to one district. Even fewer still that say their service began in high school. Mr. Schiller is just that person, a Blackhawk through and through, from his own journey through our schools culminating as part of the West Aurora class of 1989 to his over 31 years of service and counting as a member of our custodial maintenance team. No one cares more about the staff and students of West Aurora than Mr. Schiller does. Through his leadership of the operations department, he is responsible for ensuring that our West Aurora family is housed in schools that are safe, dry, and comfortable. Mr. Schiller doesn't rattle. He's calm under pressure. He treats his team members with dignity and respect. Let's hear what the rest of your colleagues have to say about you. Hey, Jeff. I nominated you for the Golden Apple Award because you are the epitome of a West Aurora Blackhawk. Hi, Jeff. Um, I couldn't think of a person who de deserves this award more. Um, there's very few people who can literally say that they are going to have started their career as a teenager and ended it all in one place. And that's you. That's not red and blue to the core. I don't know what is. Uh, Jeff Schiller. Um, I don't really know who that is. What does he do for the district? Um, not really sure. You have dedicated a big part of your life to this district and to the children and to their education. We know how many hours you put in on a regular basis and it is greatly appreciated. You are truly a great person to work with as well as just a great person in general. But more importantly than that, uh, you're one of the few people who literally has a job where you can be called 24-7 and 24-7 you answer the phone how can I help? What do you need? Never with any hesitation. Um, and for that and for so many more things that you do for the district, we thank you and congratulate you on your Golden Apple. For all that you do for the staff and students of West Aurora, we thank you and we congratulate you on your Golden Apple Award. Great job, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, thanks for being such a dependable and responsive leader. We appreciate <laughs> Our final Golden Apple Award winner for the 2019-2020 school year goes to our learning behavior specialist at Washington Middle School, Ms. Jill Zine.
<laughs> Mrs. Zine does whatever it takes to help a student or staff member. Her compassion shows in her everyday interactions with students. She takes time to get to know students individually, building lasting relationships. Mrs. Zine is a leader in the special education department with, greater, with the Greater Washington staff. She is always willing to help problem solve staff issues and can easily see the big picture to ensure she's doing what is best for all involved. Most of all, Mrs. Zine has a kind heart. She is always smiling and positive. She can most often be found in the halls greeting students and laughing with colleagues. Congratulations. And now so your, some of your colleagues have some thoughts to share. Hi, Jill. I nominated you for this award because you've been the most amazing mentor to me and you are so beyond deserving of this. Congratulations. Just want to say congratulations to Ms. Zine and thank you very much. Throughout the years here at Washington, you've helped me be a better teacher and a better dean, especially when it comes to dealing with students with individualized education plans, special ed students, and those students that need the most support of all. You're an absolutely wonderful colleague, and I'm proud to call you a Washington General. Hi, Jill. Congratulations on your Golden Apple Award. You are so deserving of this award for all the great things you do here at Washington Middle School for our students and staff. Thank you for being such a great leader in the LBS team and being a wonderful collaborator with all. Congratulations, Jill. Congratulations, Jill. Uh, no one deserves this award more than you. Uh, we appreciate everything you do here at Washington, and thanks for being a great general. Hi, Jill. I just want to say that you truly deserve to win this award. You are the most amazing co-teacher. Um, I don't know how I would get through the day without you. Congratulations, Jill. Thanks for all you do for all of our staff and students here at Washington. We appreciate your ability to problem solve and always going above and beyond to help every general in need. Thank you. Hi, Jill. Congratulations on the Golden Apple Award. I'm sure it will go very nicely alongside all of your trinkets from Greenman Bingo Days. Enjoy and congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Jill. Congratulations, Jill. Thank you, Mrs. Zine, for your dedication to the staff and students in Washington Middle School. And as I close the segment of today's festivities, I would also like to recognize that being in education is no easy task. It takes the support and backing of an understanding family, and thank you to all of our family members who are here today.